Hello, welcome to a brand new episode of The Fashion Edit. Shout out to our hair and makeup partner, Salon Tobe. On today's episode, we have Hirushi Jayatilak with us today. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. So, tell us a bit about yourself. Who is Hirushi? Mm. So, I am a fashion textile designer specializing in embroidery. And I also graduated from London College of Fashion. That's the University of Arts in London. And I have a label called Hirushi. Mm. Okay, so talk to us a little bit about Hiroshi, the brand. Yeah, so uh, it's a Sri Lankan ba brand based in London and Sri Lanka both. And it specializes in uh, haute couture and also ornament embroidery. And um, I try to have my brand to be a bit more sustainably uh, concerning about the environment as well. So it's a bit um, green conscious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, how did your journey begin? When did you realize that you want to become a fashion designer? Mm, I've always known it since I was a child, so since okay. then. Uh, so, what is your biggest motivation to go forward? Mm, I would say, I mean, as every designer should always keep on pushing forward in terms of design. And uh, for me, I'm someone who gets a bit bored quite easily, so I always like try to figure out to do something new, do something creative. So that's kind of my motivation, just finding something new to do. Okay, so tell us about your recent achievement. You had a great achievement recently? Yes. So I was, uh, my work was published on Vogue, British Vogue. And it's actually, the issue is out. It's the October issue. And um, I'm quite very happy about that. So how did it all happen? How did you reach there? Uh, so I was in London at that time and um, I was taking part in this competition. And it was out of the blue. I kind of didn't know that uh, there was an editor there. And then she, she came, she just randomly spoke to me. And she just looked at my work. And I knew she was an editor from work. But um, after like maybe two weeks, she kind of contacted me and asked if I wanted my work to be featured and if I was interested. So I just was, I jumped at the opportunity. So are you the only Sri Lankan who has been featured mm. on work? As far as I know at the moment, yes. Okay, great. I hope you achieve more in life. <laughs> Thank you. So my next question is... Uh, so tell us a bit about what you're doing these days. Are you making any new designs? Or? Uh, currently, right now, I'm, the, I'm a finalist for the hand and lock competition. So it's like it's this uh, embroidery prize competition. So I'm, it's going to be held in November. And um, that's going on currently now for me. And I'm also working on some pieces like a capsule collection. So if you could be one international designer, who would it be and why? Mm. <laughs> For that question, I wouldn't like, I wouldn't really want to be anyone. Just to be inspired. Yeah, just to be inspired. But I really love uh, Alexander McQueen's work and Ellie Saab's work. Okay, so in your opinion, who are the five most talented designers in Sri Lanka? Mm. I would say um, Amilani Pereira mm -hmm. and then Aslam Hussein. Mm. Maybe Sonali, Charini, and uh, mm, Achala. Okay. So, if you hadn't become a designer, which path would you have cho been? You have been chosen. I, I don't think I would go anywhere out of design. In maybe in the textile industry. Mm -hmm.
what are the changes you'd like to see in the industry as a designer? Mm, I would like to see uh, our young designers actually coming up with unique pieces, not following trends, just being their selves and expressing. Okay, so how has the current situation of the country affected you and your business? Mm. I think in terms of raw material, everyone's facing a shortage at this period. Um, maybe like, you know, getting international exposure into our brands as designers. It's a bit low these days, but hopefully eventually it would be better. So tell us a bit about, do you have an online store or a physical store in yes, Sri Lanka? I have an online store. Uh, my website and then I'm if also... If you could mention that to us. Yes, my website has just been currently worked on. Mm -hmm. But my work could be always accessed and they could always access me through uh, my Instagram account. That's hirushi.official. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have a shop in London as well? Or? I have a pop-up uh, shop in London but not here at the moment. Okay. Uh, so my last question for you is, as a designer, what is your message to the people who are watching this who is willing to become a designer? Um, I would say the young designers should always just believe in what they are creating and not really uh, get influenced or kind of uh, discouraged from what everyone tells them. Like if they say not to do it, it's, it's okay. If you believe in it, you should always go forward and do it and you would always succeed in it. Okay, so thank you so much for coming today. It was a pleasure to have you. You too. Thanks for having me today.